Good medical morning. Today, we're going to talk about an image that went viral last week. It was on Dr. John Gilmore's page, and it was on Reddit with a karma score of over 25,000. The title indicates that a man went to the hospital with a headache for the last two days. Upon further examination, the viewer will see that there appears to be a large nail in the man's skull. Some viewers will question if he actually knew he had this in his skull. And we find out from a neurosurgeon what he would do in this case. The brain surgeon says he would need more information before operating. He would require an angiogram to determine the proximity to any vital structures. The nail itself appears to be in the superior sinus, so that's the structure he would want to investigate. He says then he would probably safely lift the nail together with the bone flap out of the brain. He would have surgical WEC clips and other hemostatic agents at the ready. It's certainly a fascinating image and a fascinating story. I'd love to hear your comments, so go ahead and leave them with a comment below. Statistically, only one out of a thousand of you are going to click that subscribe button. So be that one-tenth of one percent and subscribe to our channel for new medical videos throughout the week. Also, do your brain a favor and check out Restmore. It's a natural sleep supplement that you're going to love. Let's take a look. Hello everyone, Dr. Carlo Oyer. Anyone who knows me would know that I wouldn't say this, but I didn't think it was true. On nights that I'm working early the next day, if I'm going to bed and have a lot of things in my mind, my mind starts to wander and the pressure of falling asleep makes me actually be unable to fall and remain asleep. Um, so the other night I was tossing and turning in bed, I've been like an hour, I've not fallen asleep. And then I went ahead and took the rest more, two tablets, I took them, and I said, okay, here goes nothing, and I lay down in bed, and I don't know how long it took, but it didn't take long at all. I didn't toss and turn, I just fell asleep. I thought, well, maybe I psyched myself up, maybe it was just something else. And the other night, it happened again. Tossing and turning, I need to get up early to do something. Oh my goodness, I'm not falling. I took two tablets of the rest more. And again, within 10, 15 minutes, I was asleep again.